What's up? It's Ryder. Today I'm going to be talking about Balazong flipping, progression, and to not get discouraged. So I've been flipping a year and four to five months, give or take. And I've developed a pretty decent flipping style. And from a lot of trial and error, it looks good. It looks good now. I like I like what I did. But a lot of people seem to get really discouraged when it comes to flipping. And like, there, there's a lot of people that quit flipping. At least, at least 60% of people that pick up a Balazon quit. Like, it's a difficult and niche hobby to get into. Because like, of course there is YouTube videos like tricks and combo tutorials. And like, that's good for a bit. That's good for a good bit. Like, you know, maybe two, three, four, even like half a year or more, depending on how fast you learn. And you hit a ceiling. Uh, you hit a progression ceiling. Oh, butterfly. And you get stuck because no longer does YouTube videos help you. Because YouTube videos and Instagram and Reddit, you can only go so far, right? Because people only show so much. The rest, you have to learn yourself. How, how do you teach yourself, like, tricks and everything? The thing is, you don't really. What you actually do is you take inspiration from other flippers and basically copy their style. What I mean is, like, you throw their video... You find a trick you like in their video, their flip clip. You put it in slow-mo. And you try to copy the trick they're doing. And the good thing about that is you'll most likely do it slightly wrong. And that's a variation. Variation? I don't know how to say words. Of that trick. So... You're kind of doing it a little different, which gives you a little extra flair and isn't straight up copying. With tricks and combo tutorials, you do it exactly how they say it, which makes, you know, it's like your style is kind of boring if you do um, everything everybody else does. So it's nice to be a little unique. So that is what I personally do to get better. Now, nobody really teaches you how to make a style, how to get your own style. Like, how I flip is my style. And really all a style is, is just a bunch of combo sets that you memorized and you do in a random order. Um, it's kind of difficult how to explain, but like, I'm not thinking of what I'm doing. Like, I'm just kind of flipping. Um, I don't really have to process what I'm doing. I mean, right now I'm looking directly at the camera, just making sure it's in frame. I'm not thinking of, uh, what I'm going to do next. It just kind of happens. And you want to get to that point. You want to, um, learn and memorize the tricks and master the tricks and master combo sets till it's like second nature and you just flip you, you're not even thinking and it looks clean like um of course i can uh, think what i'm gonna do next like parabolic whoa that's insane but it doesn't really work like that when you're flipping like if you think about it too hard you're not going to flip too well i've noticed that uh in my flipping career of a year four to five months it's like if you think about it too hard, you're going to flip worse. And you should keep on learning tricks. I recommend learning a trick once a week. It doesn't matter if you keep it or not. If you keep doing it, uh, it doesn't matter. But eventually, a trick is going to stick. You're going to memorize it. You're going to like it. You're going to throw it in your combo set. It's going to look clean. Of course, at the beginning, you want to learn more than one trick a month. Or not a month, but a week. Or you're going to have really slow progression. Like with flipping, when you first start flipping, you are going to progress so much. 
like an unbelievable amount in a month or two you'll actually be able to flip really well 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 in well in the time you've learned <laughs> um but as you continue on you hit a plateau and you kind of stop you get discouraged you're like why can't i get better i can't do this trick etc it's normal it's pretty normal to just slow down and sometimes you do want to slow down sometimes you want to take a break sometimes you don't want to flip uh for an entire day like sometimes you take a break and when you pick the balzong back up you have more motivation to do it your head is more clear you're less frustrated at the thing and that's another thing take breaks if you get frustrated at flipping what is the point of flipping like you shouldn't be frustrated uh you should be having fun and if you're always frustrated maybe flipping isn't for you because this is a this is a hard skill toy to learn it's a skill toy at the end of the day like it's nobody uses it as a weapon as a weapon um no like there's only a few people that even use it as a utility knife this thing is a skill toy that is sometimes sharp that's basically what balzong flipping is and it might just not be right for you but everybody hits plateaus you just got to keep flipping and if you think you're really into it keep flipping like try not to get discouraged try to have fun uh i can't really say much more than that i can't teach you how to come up with your own style that's for you to learn uh i'm gonna end this video because it's getting really windy uh i'm gonna do a parabolic real quick come on there we go bye bye